So Tristan Neaton's in town. He's painting up that wall. And people been hitting me up, be saying, check out his stories. So I'm checking out his stories. It just seems to be about this wall. And and my God, is that the rap boy? Kind of shit in my pants that that guy's posting. Reminds me of when Ricardo did that. Like last week. So I'm here at my house. Trying to make a shirt for the man. I'm not sure if he's an XL, a double XL, or a large. So I'm going to make a couple. The ash gray and the baby blue. Hope he likes that. Okay, so the shirts are done. Well, they're still drying, but they're definitely cold. Okay, let me introduce you to the t-shirt oven. It's my car, and it's powered by UV rays from the sun. These things literally cook in five minutes. Dry to the touch. Ah, uh, it's snowing in Montreal again. Snow in June, guys. Snow in June. So this bar right next to 180 gram off Lormier. Was all like, we're so disappointed in you. You, you were supposed to be here Saturday to, to hang up and take over the space. And I don't know what day are we, Monday? So it's Monday and we're here. But bro, how can you be upset when I just murdered your foosball center? You're gonna make a dollar a minute once people see this. Ah! Oh, too nice, too nice. Look at how well placed and color coordinated this is. It's so, it's so beautiful. There's no one that'll decorate and hang it with this steel. Oh. Well, it looks good though, eh? <laughs> okay, so I made it, guys. And, and Tristan Eaton is, and in fact, here. He's here, he's on top of this lift, but I'm trying to make it like suspenseful. So I gave him some shirts. Now he's up there working, you know, dirtying that shirt that he's wearing right now so that he'll have no choice but to wear a Coke tea. His wall's looking amazing though. He's a cool guy. Glad I met him. Here at Chance's wall. He's applying sunscreen to his head. And taking his tinctures. You know, he's just trying to stay healthy while he conquers this giant wall. We're in the alley now behind the pawn shop. Trying to pick out some spots. I mean, I got a few spots back here. It's the alley where I'd be uh, right off the axe and scan wall. Right off Saint Laurent. You can identify the wall by its most iconic feature. The hashtag, me too, Axe Band-Aid. I told you Axe, you leave those women alone. Now they're coming for you with their hashtags. Here on Saint Laurent, I just wanna show you guys a spot that's getting me a lot of love right now. And that's Rat Boy. Kinda didn't realize how visible he was. You could be at the art gang booth and you know, check out the sick scan back there. And still, there's the rat boy. Rat boy. He's everywhere. You wanna be. Hacking away, you know. Captain Caveman. He's gonna get that spot. Okay, so everyone's in the alley over there. I'm here trying to this corner spot out. So the jam's going down pretty good. 
as in how so. <laughs> They'll ride right by you. And they won't even give a fuck that you dig in the corner spot. For all of you out there who are confused by the steez, it is Rasta Steez. That's how you get your paintings looking super jank. Don't forget to put on your uni. That extra thick black line that separates it from the wall, pretty crucial. Volume two of the How to Adult series. How to Adult, NTLSDs. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, is it, how lucky am I to get parking like that and a piece like this. Only in Montreal, man. You guys gotta get a hold of this book. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's how you adult off Saint Laurent during your fest. That's a fucking nice piece. I don't know the last time I used so many colors. This, like, Three colors in there. Lord, I never use three colors. But I've been reading this book and I'm pretty much ready to adult now. Royal's here working on his fire piece. Nothing but pure magma. Magma. And of course, out of town is in the alley. His homes all the way from Germany. The Germans are here. <laughs> Shout out to Soar. Shout out to Sandman who are in the alley. And here we go with the rest of the jam. We got Honest up here. I know what he's hiding out now. But Cass and Flail taking the corner back. Should be pretty sick. Cass is really putting down the off mural jams this year, and every single one's been great. Okay, I'm back home. Guys, I stained my freaking vintage field shorts doing that wall, so I'm here. I'm gonna try and fix them. When it comes to cleaning my clothes, I just kind of put Blue Dawn on it. You know, let that soak in. That'll lift up the paint, and then I just scrub it. And if that doesn't work, then I... I got other techniques. So one of my... You know, new things that I want to implement into my life is... You know, I used to always rock stains and stuff, and... Now I'm kind of realizing the humble task of making sure the clothes stays clean and and all the shit that comes with that. Anyways, long monologue coming at you. Just wanted to point out that some murals, you know, were painted by hand. And some are with can, and it's a big it's a big genre that incorporates a lot of different people. But for me, when I think about mural. I think of those off mural jams, that community, that camaraderie, you know, making sure that everyone's got a spot and everything. That's sort of what street art means to me. Peace. <laughs> see you next time. I'm just, I'm just scrubbing my freaking. Next time you see me in my pants is spotless, you'll know, you'll know why.